Fridays to Turkey Trot. Good luck to all the runners who are participating. Hey Colts, it's Riley. And Kylie. And today we'll be talking about interesting facts about Thanksgiving. The average American travels 50 miles or more from home over the Thanksgiving holiday each year. The first Thanksgiving lasted for three long days, and you thought one day was a lot of food. Minnesota is a top turkey producing state in America. About 280 million turkeys are sold annually for Thanksgiving, which is about 7 billion pounds of turkey and approximately $3 billion worth of sales. The wishbone of the turkey is used in good luck ritual on Thanksgiving Day. Do you ever pull the wishbone? Yes, I do. So. All right. Uh, let's see. Two truths and a lie. Uh, I have jumped out of a plane before 13,000 feet. I can also fly a plane with my pilot's license. And third one is, uh, I am paranoid of sharks. You choose which one's a lie. Come out and cheer for your Colts. They are competing for the intramural flag football champions. It's at 6 p.m. at Marietta Valley High School. Good morning, Colts. I'm Mahana, and today we're going to be looking back at the Veterans Rally. Thanksgiving break is next week. It's a week where you get to spend time with your family and friends. Have fun and a great Thanksgiving. Hey Colts, it's Kylie, and today we will be doing Thanksgiving trivia. Today I have Mohammed and Mia. So let's get started. Thanksgiving is only celebrated in the United States. False. Correct. Butterball says that once the turkey is done, you should let it stand for 15 minutes before serving because it's easier to carve. Incorrect. Oh. To let the stuffing cool a bit before you take it out. Correct. What was the name of the ship the Pilgrims came over on? Mayflower. Which president was the first to establish Thanksgiving as a legal national holiday to be held the 4th, Thursday in November? Um, it was Franklin D. Roosevelt, I think. It was Franklin Roosevelt. Right? 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 Yeah. Correct. Yes! In Canada, they celebrate Thanksgiving in what month? September. Incorrect. November. Incorrect. Oh. May. Incorrect. <laughs> We're so bad. October. Correct. The term cornucopia means what? The Greek god of corn. Corn of plenty. Correct. Thank you for watching Thanksgiving trivia. And now back to Jaden and Mia. Did you go to the parade last week? Yeah, it was so much fun. What was there? There was a lot of different schools performing and we had band. Cool. To, to all, all our veterans, veterans thank, thank you, you for your service. What's up, Colts? It's Alex. And Anna. And we're back with another awesome video. Yay! Today, we're here to tell you about an awesome challenge we're having here on Mac News. It's called the TikTok Challenge. This is the challenge where you, as our GMS Colts, send us your favorite TikTok videos and we'll pick our favorite ones and put them on Mac News. How awesome is that? It's pretty awesome. You send them in by, wait, how do you send them in again? You submit your videos by coming either to the Mac News room E121 and air dropping them to one of our computers or you can email them to us at GMS Mac News. Let's go take a look at some, some of, of our, our TikToks. TikToks.
bystander effect is when the presence of many individuals discourage the participation of one certain individual to intervene in an emergency situation. How do I think that this relates to bullying? Well, let's see an example. If there is a group of students that are witnessing somebody getting bullied, I think that because of all the kids that are around witnessing this, I think that one hopes that somebody will intervene and the more people there is witnessing this event, it is less likely that somebody will actually intervene and step in and stop the bullying. That's all for today, Club. Have a great day, leave the way. Hey guys. <laughs> Packy Taurus. Um, my favorite part about choir is just, I mean, the teacher is pretty cool. She's not, like, mean or anything. Is this your first year? Testing. Oh, Testing. One, two, three. Leave me alone.